Hey guys, Kim here again. Today's challenge is installing an inverter into my caravan. Um, if you're not sure what an inverter is, basically just converts 12 volt battery power to 240 volts to run, you know, your appliance, blenders, microwaves, whatever, air conditioners, stuff like that. But that sort of stuff's going to require bigger uh, battery capacity. But yeah. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to install this inverter. It's a Renogy, uh, let me get closer for you, 3000 watt inverter. And that's a battery isolator and a resettable fuse. 200 amp. I got a resettable one, so basically, you know, if it trips, I can reset it easily rather than ones that blow and then you're going to need a part for it. Um, the plan today is to install this inverter underneath my bed. There's plenty of room here, but I don't want to just sit it on the ground like that. I actually want to mount it on the wall there. Not the wall, the, the edge of the bed. The trouble is, this is only 10 mil thick. So if you think about it, it's got a bit of weight to it. Uh, I have no idea exactly what it weighs, but it's probably a good 5-6 kilos. And if I just screw it into this thin little piece, you know, and going over bumps and all that, eventually it's probably just going to fall off, and I, I don't want that. So the plan is today is to put a piece of timber here. I'm going to glue it to this piece here, and so it's going to be a lot more stronger. And then the inverter will screw to that with longer screws. This is the timber that I've uh, cut. It's basically the same measurement there. And it's just ply, and it's light, light as possible. You know, you want to make sure you put light things inside your caravan. And I've just painted it white. Let's uh, glue it in. Okay, panel is installed. And it is all glued. Kind of just fit it in there. Like that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, you can hardly notice it's not part of the caravan. It's really neat. Okay, so the plan is, as I said, there's a bit of weight to that, but yeah. I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try and see if I can mount it. The plan is to mount that inverter up here somewhere, and then what we'll do is we'll put the, put the fuse here somewhere, and then above it we'll have the isolator. So it should be all nice and neat here, and then the plan is to drill through here and bring our cables up from our battery. And they'll go straight through the, to the fuse, to the battery isolator, and then they'll go straight to the inverter. Okay, so I'm using 30 mil screws here too, timber screws, for in there. And uh, as you can see, they haven't come through. Obviously, you gotta make sure you get the right ply in there. <laughs> you wanna be th pretty thick, I think. I'm about 10 mil. And then there's also, you lose a bit of mils in the actual, um, you know, little feet there. So, I'm just gonna do this last one. Okay, oh, can't get the camera in there, sorry about the angle, but there you go, you get the point. Yep, nice, all screwed in. <coughs> that is, that's pretty rock solid, man. That is liquid nails, and it's also screwed in here. And then once I screw on these as well, that's gonna really, you know, strengthen this wall, but that ain't coming off. And that's what I wanted to make sure is, uh, as I said, it's, you know, it's a little bit of weight, five to six kilos or something like that. So didn't want it to fall off and I didn't want it to be on the ground here because it just takes up way too much room when it's on the ground, but up against the wall like that, perfect. Okay, let's do the rest. All right, done a little bit of pre-terminated here. Basically got my resettable fuse and my DC isolator and I put the cable in there as you can see. Probably notice that the uh, resettable fuse is upside down. Uh, my cables are coming through the floor over there. So they're going to just, the active is just going to go straight under here. The reason why, I don't know if you can probably see, but these things have a load side and a incoming line side. So if you can see this one here is the line side, so it means it's coming straight from the battery. And then this is the load side, which is going to my inverter. So that's why, but I'm not phased about bloody words upside down.
It's easy anyway, actually. If it does have a trip, I just go like that, push it down. Reset it, all done. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm sort of setting everything up so I know where things go first before I start drilling through floors. You know, I don't want to do that in the wrong place because it's a new caravan. But essentially it's going to look like that. So yeah, I'm telling where my load, you know, this is where I'm going to drill here for my incoming power. Okay, once you know where your cables are going to go through, this is the little bit scary part. <laughs> I'd probably recommend putting a little drill bit there first through the floor and just go don't go too deep just a little bit just so you can feel through the the timber timber's only about 10 mil 12 mil uh, thick um yeah you don't want to go through anything so we're just going to do a little hole first just to see where it ends up and then we'll do a big one all right we'll do a little hole you know if you've totally stuffed up then at least it's only a little hole that you've got to cover so let's go uh check underneath the caravan and see where it popped out all right you can see it's right there I left the um left the drill bit in the drill just to see where it comes through and you can see i only went through a little bit but then i just dropped the drill all the way so i could see underneath the caravan so that's going to be perfect it's going to go through here through this is a bit of a gap here in the chassis and that's going to go through there with coro and around there to the battery box okay just drilled a hole said it's not that thick that stuff so we are good to go to start getting some cables in here all right so i'm pretty much finished this section here um just want to show you this before i show you underneath the caravan but yeah it's all screwed on honestly that is not going anywhere that is strong as hell so i've got you know resettable isolator battery isolator into the inverter so if i wanted to just turn it off if it using too much power that'll trip easy to reset i've just got to silicon up some of the stuff around here give it a bit of a clean these are the screws i screws i use to mount the inverter there with an extra piece of timber that i installed with liquid nails as well and then i use these uh, longer sort of screws for my battery isolator yeah all right let's have a look underneath all right so the plan was to use 40 mil coro and put my 70 mil cables inside it but they did fit but they were super tight and it was just a nightmare so i just chose to use uh 25 mil coro and i think it's worked out a lot better just to have the 70 mil cable going into a 25 mil coro and uh, in hindsight probably should have just drilled two 25 mil holes instead of 140 but i thought the 40 mil would fit the coro but it was just too tight and come around here so they just come neatly around here and then they all just zip tie right back to my battery box and i have spray painted them you know black it looks pretty tidy i'm pretty happy with it so that's pretty much the stage one. Uh, I will connect these to the batteries, but I'm planning on upgrading this to lithium. At the moment, it actually is a big um, battery box bolted, welded to the chassis, and it has two 100 amp uh, AGM batteries. They're pretty, yeah. I'm, I don't really like AGM batteries. They're just a pretty crap. I only really like lithium. They just last way longer. Anyway, so that's stage two of the video, but this is stage one, so you can see I've run all my cables right back through here. Goes up underneath there. And then pops up in the floor. And as you saw before, comes straight up into the inverter. Okay, guys, well, that's, that's pretty much stage one <laughs> of the little project, installing the inverter. I've got two other videos I've got to make. One is upgrading the batteries to lithium, and the other battery is, I need to, you know, as you know, I need to wire all these power points onto the inverter. So that's going to be the next sort of stage, is to have this inverter here supplying 
most of the power points inside this caravan. Uh, I'm going to wire it straight up to the original circuit breaker up there, but I'm going to upgrade all this. And I've got some good plans for this little switchboard here. I'm going to actually put an energy monitor, monitor in there. Because the one thing about uh, caravans is, is, uh, you know, even with all this red vision stuff, it's really good, but it only really shows you what your 12 volt uh, supply, like, sorry, not supply, but what you're using in 12 volts, you know, lights, fans, blah, blah, blah. But if you were to use your microwave right now or your aircon, you got no, it won't tell you nothing. It tells you your voltage, like if you're plugged in, but it won't actually tell you how much power you're using with your 240. So, yeah, I got a great little plan which I'm going to get started on. I've got going to upgrade this little switchboard here. I'm going to put an energy monitor in here and another little thing, a bit of a surprise for you. But yeah, stay tuned for that video. Thanks, guys.